Dr. Sella here, and the question I get is, where do I put my best skill position football player? Okay, now, this is from Paul Johnson, not Dr. Lou Sella, but first of all, Paul Johnson said you put your best football player at center, because your center better be able to start for the other team, or you're in trouble. Paul Johnson said that, I didn't. Okay, now, after that, where do you put your best skill position football player? Well, naturally, the player who's going to touch the ball more than any others is the quarterback. But here's what you got to understand about quarterback in this offense. And guys, I've coached maybe thousands of triple option quarterbacks in the years I've done camps and beyond. And the bottom line is, as long as you have an obedient, non-fat person there, they're obedient to the procedure, and you... Use few words to teach him how to read your way out. You got yourself a quarterback. Find the most obedient person you can find that isn't fat, and you're good to go. So does that necessarily make him the best football player? Not sure, but it's definitely the most obedient goes to the quarterback. So after that, where do you put your best football player? Be back. And it's not even close. Too many coaches want to put their best kid at A back because they think they're going to win championships by running the toss. And you ain't. So, B back is the player in the offense that has always finished the play with the ball more than anybody else, and it's not even close. Because he's closest to the ball, because he aligns you know, a couple yards off the ball, directly, we well, can say on or off it, but the bottom line is he's going to end up with the ball and finish the play with the ball more than anybody else. That's your guy. Don't worry about having B-backs. These are not traditional fullbacks. That's why they're called B-backs. I've had clients on that testimonial page on TripleOptionFootball.com that have 150-pound B-backs. This is high school. It's a different animal. You'll win with 150-pound beatbacks. I don't care what the internet says. I don't even really know what the internet says, but I'm sure it's the opposite of what I say. So you can win with 150-pound beatbacks because they're not traditional. They're not fullbacks because they got to run, sprint through the ball and they got to hit it through the landmark. So beatback is the answer to the question that's posed in this video. And that's that.